Welcome back to The Road to E3. Jared is here to give us an update on Mafia 3. Excited about that. When did we last see Mafia 3? It was very recent. Uh, Ryan got a hands-on with it in April, got to see a lot of the game. He got to experience some of the duck and cover kind of combat, got to do some of the driving, got to see some of this new city they're introducing. Uh, so he got, saw quite a bit of the game there. So what are you most excited about to see next? For Mafia 3. Well, the big question with Mafia 3 is, can they populate this really interesting city with enough things to do to hold your interest in a long open world game span? I want to see the kinds of things they've come up with that I can do between the missions. I want to see if they've really delved into that 1960s New Orleans, you know, Vietnam era uh, atmosphere and created interesting things that give it flavor and character and can hold on to me over the course of what I'm hoping will be a very long campaign and allow me to go off and just do my own thing. That's what you want in an open world game. So the big question on everyone's mind, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being most likely, what are the chances Mafia 3 is at E3 this year? I'd say about a nine because this game's coming out in it October. Has an amazing chance. Yeah, I think, I, you know, it's coming out in October. I think we should expect to see it. If they don't show it there, I'd be very surprised. All right, thanks Jared. Thank you. For more on Mafia 3 and all the big games of E3, stay tuned to IGN.